Hi, um, I'm Jim Hamrick. I'm the I'm an architect and second year instructor in the architectural technology program here at Stevens College. This is not a design program. An architectural design program would be more someone pursuing a Bachelor of Architecture degree that has a much stronger emphasis on design. It's about the nuts and bolts of construction, how buildings are assembled and put together. The concentration first year of the program is on residential, light frame, wood construction, best way of understanding what that is. It's housing for the most part. The concentration second year of the program is understanding commercial and institutional construction and building. And that pretty much entails working with concrete and heavy steel and masonry construction, more commercial type buildings like banks and offices and schools and things like that. A lot of what we do does center around working on a computer. Our, our students are typically in a situation where they're working at a computer workstation in an environment very similar to what they would be doing when they get out and start working. A big emphasis of our program is indeed computer-aided drafting and design CAD. Some other courses that students are involved with are uh, presentation graphics, the pretty pictures that are used to sell projects. We also get into technical specifications, which is the written component of a project that is used to support the graphic. We also get into things like structural systems, um, environmental systems, structural systems being how the building is, holds up. Environmental systems is dealing with the plumbing and electrical um, and the heating of a building. One really important skill and objective that we have in both the first and the second year of the architectural technology program is developing problem solving skills. It's a skill that's really important that students develop in a cumin to be able to do because that's a lot of what they're going to be doing when they get out. Students uh, typically work at their own pace. Um, students in both first and second year of the program, for the most part, will start the beginning of the year uh, kind of in lockstep. But like anything, some students pick up the material easier or quicker and move on to projects at a faster pace than some of the slower students. What this means is that some students are going to have multiple projects that they're working on at the same time, which again reinforces what we're trying to instill in the students, work habits for when they get out and they really start working. The uh, workstations that our students are using, there's two students at each station. There's a first year student and a second year student. And these students share the stations and the labs open in the evenings and the lab is open in the weekends. Typically there is some work that's required to be done after hours. Um, and it's also kind of, um, it's not an even pace. There will be times during the year we have some major projects that if students are working along at a steady pace, there are spikes where students do indeed end up coming in for pretty late hours in, in concentrated periods. This may be, may be at projects at the midpoint of the semester and definitely some major projects at the end of the semester. So we literally do have students coming in, staying in the lab until 11, 12 at night, 1 in the morning to finish up these projects that, that uh, involve a lot of work. You'll hear a lot of times students complain or say, oh, these people that are pushing the program schedule and leading to additional projects being assigned, they need to slow down. Again, that's not the way it works. Basically, everyone needs to understand that those same students that are taking the initiative and working at a faster pace and getting their work done and going on to an additional project are the same ones that they are indeed going to be faced with um, competing for jobs when they get out. So they need to understand that that's the level that we're expecting the students to work towards. That's pretty much the overview of what we're doing in the program in architectural technology here at Stevens College. Hi, I'm Kyle Krills. I'm a second year architecture student at Thaddeus Stevens. I will tell you it is a benefit uh, going to previous uh, CTC before this uh, just because you got to jump on the program, but it is not mandatory and it will not hurt you if you don't. The instructors pretty much give you everything you need to know like if you were new. They do treat this like a workplace 
So when you come in, uh, there is no hats. You're not allowed on a cell phone. And if you have a problem or a question that needs to be solved, uh, they usually look for you to look it up in the book or on a website and then bring it to the teacher like you would to a boss. The biggest misconception of architecture program here is that you just do floor plans. Uh, I've heard already so many classmates think that you just do the design of the building and that's it. That's false. You do uh, the floor plans, uh, you do elevations, cross sections, you do building sections, you do details, seeing how concrete is tied together with uh, a wall, like a concrete slab. You do um, roof details and any kind of detail you can think that goes with the building. There's big projects you do more than uh, just drafting 24-7. You'll have uh, a few projects your first year called the Mouse House Project, the Capstone Project, um, and those entail doing drawings and doing uh, models. You do everything from hand drafting to computer aided drafting. Uh, the software we use is AutoCAD mostly. Uh, they're starting to use more Revit. You do some Google SketchUp. The first year architecture teacher is more lenient on uh, due dates while the second uh, architecture teacher isn't. The first year, if you ask her for more time, she will most likely give you the time you need, as long as it's the majority of the class that needs it and not just one or two individuals that were goofing off. You need to be careful with that because the second year architecture teacher, he's more adamant about the due dates and getting it done on time and staying after class. They are really good with working with you if you have a problem or a question. And in this um, program, we have some great tutors that will help you during class or after class, or if you need to stay after lab hours, uh, we can get written permission saying we can come in the lab and help. The biggest uh, tip I will tell you is if you do not want to stay after class or pull all-nighters, keep on working through class. They do give you breaks throughout class um, to go to like McDonald's um, to grab a bite. Usually it's a half hour long in the middle of class. Daddy Stevens is a fantastic school. I enjoyed so much and I hope you decide to come as well.